not accept detours. Tell even God, tell Lord, thanks, but no thanks. It says here that God himself said, they're going to be scared. They, if they face battle, they will change their minds. What does that tell you? He didn't see faith in his people. He didn't see courage. He didn't see determination. So first, don't accept detours. We will no longer pray, Lord, make my life a little bit easier. How many have prayed that way? I, I do. That's one of my favorite prayers. <laughs> Lord, if you could heal me before I get to the dentist. Oh. <laughs> but I believe God wants to move us into another dimension. Do not accept detours and pray this dangerous prayer. Lord, take me in a straight line to my promises. No matter what armies I face on the way. Are you ready? God can lead you around, but he prefers to lead you through. He can lead you around, but he prefers to lead you through. When Pharaoh left the people go, let the people go, God did not lead them through the Philistine country. And in verse 18, so God led the people around. It's either through or around. How many want to go through? There is a price to pay, and there is an attitude to gain in order to do that. The advantages of the detour. How many like detours? I am impatient enough that I take detours, and on top of that, I get lost on the detours sometimes. The advantage of the detour is you... Is, is, Sometimes it's for impatient people. <laughs> Three days ago, waiting for a red light, I'm saying, I, I cannot do this. I, I, I changed lanes to the turning light, the, the, the green arrow. I, I, give me something green but, uh, in any direction. <laughs> so detours can be for impatient people. Detours can, can, be, detours can be for cowards. They, 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 Lord, can I leave Christianity without battles? And the Lord might say, well, I'm going to take you around. It's going to be longer, okay? This is going to be a journey. But with your level of faith, this is the best I can do for you. <laughs> now, what I'm, can I bring bad news to the detour crowd? Deuteronomy 8.15, there are disadvantages also to the detours. He led you through the great and terrible wilderness. It's great and it's terrible. With its fiery serpents and scorpions. I want to scare you a little bit. There are scorpions on the detour. <laughs> don't, don't go there. And through thirsty ground where there was no water, he brought water for you out of the rock or flint. Many of the miracles that happened to the Israelites, they were pity miracles. They say, oh, my people, I'm not, God, God said, I, I, I'm not going to forsake you. If I have to go on the detour with you, I will go with you. I will go where you go. I love you. Sometimes I feel that God in his incredible mercy, he kind of follows us instead of we following his best. Let me tell you another disadvantage of the detour is going to be very, very, very long. It could last 40 years. How many don't have 40 years to spare? Wow. A commentator says the land of the Philistines was the Pentapolis, or five cities, Gaza, Ashkelon, Ashdod, Ekron, and Gath, which lay between Egypt and Canaan. And their way through it to Canaan out of, the, out of Egypt was the nearest they could go and was about 10 days' journey. Now, if you have the choice to get to your promise in 10 days, or in 40 years. How many go for 10 days? 
Even if that red light is long, just, just stay straight. Stay, even if it's Las Vegas red light, you know. Stay, stay your course. 